This has been a difficult time for the program, but one we will work through in a positive and healing manner with our full focus on supporting the student athletes. UC Davis Athletics Director Rocco DeLuca announcing the resignation of baseball coach Matt Vaughn. After this, 34-page report outlined an initiation tradition involving a series of challenges described as beer boxing, mystery shot, lap dances, and more. If your audience read it, they would say, holy mackerel, what are these kids doing to each other? What does this have to do with baseball? What are they trying to prove? Psychologist and hazing expert Dr. Susan Lipkin says initiation rituals like this are common around the country. It leads to difficulty sleeping, uh, difficulty focusing in school, low self-esteem, depression, and even post-traumatic stress. The report found that coaching staff did not have a role in coordinating initiation, but that by January 2018, Coach Vaughn knew or should have known about it. Meanwhile, this year, unsupervised team activities on or off campus are prohibited for the rest of the season. A sports administrator will travel with the team during this time, and there will be a reduction in the non-conference baseball schedule. Does this add up to accountability? I don't think it's accountability, you know, and I think that some of the students could and should be held accountable as well as the coach. Uh, however, that rarely happens, and I don't know that that works. Dr. Lipkin says for an end to hazing, the change has to come from within. When the students say, no, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be sued. I don't want to have somebody die. I don't want to be in that kind of realm. That's when it, the culture itself will really change. And UC Davis has also announced new training and an anonymous reporting tool for student athletes to seek help or share their concerns.